Hi everyone, and today we're looking at the Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader book from 1987. This was the first ever book of the, the first ever rule book, yeah, of Warhammer 40k. It was made, written by uh, Rick Presley, and it's even got the Citadel Miniatures yeah. logo on. And look at this, this is like so derpy, but also so cool. It is a really, real, real find. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And that's the back, as we can see, it's super cool. And I'm going to uh, pop this open and we're going to take a look at the such derpy derpy artwork that's inside. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. It's very, very interesting. Very, very old. A real blast from the past. And uh, on the back it says, In the nightmare future of the fourth 40th millennia, only the superior psychic mind of the Emperor shields humanity from certain extinction. Dedicated to his service are the warriors, agents, and myriad servants of the Imperium. Foremost amongst them stand the Space Marines, men strengthened by advanced bioprocessing techniques to create the ultimate human warrior. Super cool, and there's like some so cool things in here. It's a real sort of like deep thing, and look at how derpy the models are. Look at those derpy orcs. Give me a thumbs up if you've actually had these derpy orcs or not. You know, <laughs> so funny. And actually with like the ninth edition logo coming up, I've just looked up the spine, and this is very, uh, if I zoom in here, get it to focus. This is very, like, almost very similar in a weird way to the new Warhammer 40k logo. So very, very interesting. And also, um, if you're looking at picking up one of these books, a friend of mine um, did mention that I need to uh, be careful of the tear-out sections at the back. Yes. You have to be very careful of the tear-out sections because these blue pages here are actually removable and uh, were able, you were able to put them into another book. And this particular book that I've got, it's actually got, if you look there, a couple of the pages missing. So um, if you do buy one of these, or if you're looking at one of these, just double check that there isn't a few of the tearable pages been torn out because as you can see um, a couple of the pages have actually been torn out but it's really interesting looking back into this thing and the artwork's so cool um, it's a little bit derpy by today's standards but it's really interesting seeing like the original guns the original weapons that we sort of think are new now on some, uh, certain models but we've actually got like the las cannons and the multi melters it's like a really really cool book and like i really like it it's a real close look into warhammer history and uh, and like what is going on with some of these pictures here like what is that about guys oh my goodness but yeah it's really cool and it's a really good book and there's so much detail like for planning missions and that look at that that you could plan a mission in it's so cool absolutely super coolio so yeah and what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick like down view and just have a quick flick through and see oh my goodness look i've got a jokaro Weaponsmith, and they've even got the Jakaro in here. Like I didn't even know that they were, they were like so original, you know. And this, the creatures that we've got, dinosaurs. Now that is something that we don't have. We have the Gene Stealers, but there's dinosaurs as well in the game. Oh my goodness! Could you imagine in like ninth edition them releasing dinosaurs? How crazy would that be? 
that would be absolutely crazy but like the artwork's like kind of derpy but so interesting as well it's just so interesting really really cool it is it's really really cool and it's a great book and there's like something that you don't really see in, in like the upcoming ninth edition book like look at this like hobbying techniques and stuff like that to build your own terrain and things like that you know how to build your own bunker and painting and you know and look is that the i wonder if that's the games workshop team that they've got i think that's all the games workshop team from the time and they've like made themselves all cartoons <laughs> It's such an awesome book, so definitely, definitely worth taking a look at, and uh, I'm really happy to have found it. Unfortunately, the three pages were missing, which is a bit of a downer, but apart from that, very, very cool. And you have to be careful, they're from 1987, so make sure you try and pick one up that's in uh, semi-decent condition. So, let's take a closer look at this book. Okay everyone, so let's take a closer look at the Warhammer 40,000 Road Trader book. My, 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 look at this. This is super cool, super cool. Look at that artwork. So funny with beaky. Look at all the beakies. That's funny. We're just going to have a quick flick through because there's so many like pages to look at. But it's a cool book it's a cool book you've got to, you've got to admit it's a cool book so there's some scenery that's like you don't see scenery like that anymore do you and then we've got the original art chapter of the dark brotherhood <laughs> this is so awesome and then we've got like the old old characters from rogue trader it's very cool i love the old artwork there was sort of like a a diy-ness to it all which i really love there's how to play the game i mean it's quite simple and stuff i i like it shooting from elevated positions it's quite interesting oh someone's got shot there these toughness tables we've got here these these are funny. Area, effect, deviation. Look at these deviations and rule markers. It's so crazy. Oh, look at the chaos stuff. That's pretty cool. Some pretty cool chaos stuff right there. Oh, there's a zoat. Look at the zoat. We've got the original zoats there. And these, these like centipede things. The catch and devil. Oh my goodness, I wonder if they're using like tokens for that. Defender's weapon skill. This is such a blast from the past. Look at this old artwork. Marine Commander. There's the Eldar. Check out the Eldar. Breaking off from hand-to-hand -hand combat. Some very interesting things. Very, very interesting. I love the classic -ness. There's some colour there. We've got a little bit of colourful stuff. Really cool. I, I just love the artwork and things and just seeing where it all came from. Like, we've got chapter approved there. Profiles. Look at him. You know, you just don't get that anymore. In the new one, the same. It's so polished. Everything's so polished. Look at these movement arcs turning arcs mind you that looks like a flyer that looks like a flyer whoa look at this guy look at these characters we have here these are some real characters <laughs> i can't believe them i absolutely can't believe them yeah oh using an ability psychic save and many many rules look at these uh, abilities that they have hammerhead cure injury telekinesis it's like psychic abilities all the psychic abilities it's very very uh, interesting we'll just uh, 
jump through that because we're mainly looking for the artwork, but look, Danger Mutants. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is so funky. This is such a funky box. It is such a funky box. It's really funky. I've never really seen this before, but some of the artwork in it is just absolutely plastered with cartoons. That is just so awesome. It is. It's really good. I'm having so much fun just going through this. The Battle at the Farm. <laughs> so funky. Oh, look at that. That's some cool um, looking scenery. You see, this is cool scenery. This is stuff that we want to see, you know. Oh, and it's like a battle report almost. We've got a battle report, but look at those miniatures. Just look at those miniatures. Those are some classic hand sculpts right there. They really are. <laughs> this is a funny book. A funny, funny book. I'm just seeing if there's any like real Easter eggs in there. You know, equipment, book two. Oh, so like all the books are like basically in Rogue Trade, in this Rogue Trader book. This is so funky. Oh, here's all our weapons that we were looking at. There's the mighty bolter. Look at how different it looks. They've sort of got like an AK-47 thing and bow. <laughs> Who's using a bow? Autoguns, flamers, crossbow. We don't really have crossbows. I mean, Inqui Inquisitor Greyfax has got a crossbow, hasn't she? Mm, look at this. Look at these orky dudes. For every battle honor, a thousand heroes die alone, unsung and unremembered. <laughs> yeah. Melder gun, needle gun, musket. I want to see the muskets. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> musket. <laughs> That's what we need in 40k. We need some musket dudes. Oh, they were just trying so many different things. It was awesome. And that's quite funny. In this book, someone's tried to colour in the the orc dude. Hmm. Not too impressed by someone attempting to colour in the orc dude. But apart from that, it's pretty cool. It's pretty funky. The shotgun. The shotgun's got plasma gun. We all know them. Combat. Force rod. I mean, did we? Did the uh, guys have that? Did the space marines have that? Oh, squats. There's our squat dudes. Look at our squat guys. Awesome. Hand weapons, hand flamer, improvised weapon. I like there's just a fist or a pottle or, or something. Improvised weapons. Very cool artwork, very cool. Power sword, there's our classic. What's the Neuro Disruptor? Who's got a Neuro Disruptor? Which faction had that? Oh, there's our Jakaro Digital Weapons there. Look, there's the Jakaro Digital Weapon. So awesome. Like, you think these things are new and they're not. They're like in the original Rogue Trader. They're in the original. Okay, let's keep going because otherwise this thing's going to take forever. Oh, uh, the Emperor knows. Look, it's just a pistol. <laughs> it's like a standard like pistol. It's not a Glock. It's like a, is that a Smith and Wesson? I don't know guns very well. You can leave me a comment down below what gun that is. But look, it just says, the Emperor knows. <laughs> so funny. Is that a power fist? Is that power fist right there? I'm not sure. Ro There's a rogue trader right there. Look at our rogue trader and his helmet. My goodness. 
This is such Warhammer history. This is such Warhammer history right here. Real funky distortion cannon. Look at that. It's like all our classic things. I mean, this really was. Um, that's a funny looking heavy bolter though, isn't it? These are, the, these are like our classic old Space Marine weapons, but you know, look at that. Look at them old school weapons. The heavy stub. See, we've got heavy stubbers now and they didn't really make much of an appearance and then they sort of reappeared. And there's our heavy stubber, you know, for sure. Right, we'll continue the journey of weapons and multi laser, las cannon, multi melter, macro cannon, plasma cannon. Very nice, very, very nice. And there's some cool art artwork here grenades and missiles. Whoa, look at this! The artwork's so incredible, like it's 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 DIY, but at the same time, it's you know you can really see the effort they put into this. I think Road Trader must have by far had the most amount of effort, the most amount of effort put into the book because this was the first. This was outlying everything. <laughs> Look at these guys! Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look at him, he's like holding his face. Every man is a spark in the darkness by the time he's noticed he's gone forever. A renal after image that fades and is obscured by newer, brighter lights. <laughs> pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, guys. Let's take a look. Oh, someone's got the head off. Look at these pants. Are those like leopard print pants? They almost look like leopard print pants. Ugh. Warriors of the Imperium. So it's just a warrior of the Imperium there. They were really finding themselves, but it's good. It's, it's really good. Here we go. More artwork mines heavy support weapons summaries we've got little bits of artwork i love how they like just dot artwork in everywhere there's all our weapon abilities i love how they put all the equipment and stuff in it's really good vehicle profiles and like i like the diy-ness of these pictures look at this long picture that they've just filled in there and then a vehicle arc again. Oh, the arcs. How they are missed by some. How they are missed by some. And oh, here we go. There's some classic miniatures. Look at those heavy metal painted miniatures. That's, that's where it's at, guys. Those space marines there. I mean, this makes it the proper, like, that's how people's miniatures look. You know, I like it. It's not too fancy. You know, it's just right. It's brilliant. And then I think I showed this before, but there's some pretty cool um, derpy looking space marines there. Very derpy. Very, de very derpy indeed. Look at that, super cool, super cool. And that's a funky looking, is this, that's a Land Raider. That's an old school Land Raider, look at that. <laughs> that's such, <clears throat> such an old school Land Raider. Oh my, look at these guys. They're looking very afarian, afarious y. Like, they've got like the salamander sort of. Not salamander, should I say? The serpent, 
skin sort of shoulder pads. Well, they all sort of look the same, that's the only uh, shame with that. And some, yet some more awesome artwork. Yet more awesome artwork. It just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? There's a land speeder. That is an old looking land speeder. And then there's a couple of funky quotes. Do not waste your tears. I was not born to watch the world grow dim. Life is not measured in years, but by the deeds of men. So very war some things, but there's other cool stuff as well. Like I love the Space Marine and, and what it says, you know, there's, there's our like fields, stasis armor profiles, but then look at our Space Marine here. Look, it's detailed everything. And there's like codes for all the things and what's in a Space Marine suit. Very exciting. Very exciting indeed. <laughs> very, very exciting book. Really love it. Really, really love it. Very funky, very cool. Oh, what is going on in this picture? Oh, we've got like robots and stuff. That sort of reminds me of like Blackstone Fortress kind of things. Life is a prison, death shall be my release. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I love the artwork. There's so much artwork. This book is just jam-packed with artwork. Absolutely jam-packed with artwork. Uh, very few pages are just a wall of text. But it's very text heavy at the same time. Like you, there's a lot of talking in here, a lot of info, stimulant, sealed suit. It fleshes out the whole universe. They put in absolutely everything from the universe, which is so cool. Absolutely everything. What have we got here? What have we got here? My oh my oh my, look at this art. I mean, that's where it's at for this book, really, isn't it? All the artwork. It's all the artwork. And I just love how everything's just piled into one main book. That's what's so good about it. Absolutely awesome. Those images. I mean, that with the skulls. You're not going to see much of that in the new ones unless it's very chaosy. It's so awesome. The galaxy, a sectional view indicating galactic dimensions. So there's the galaxy according to Road Trader. <laughs> Warp space, people's heads exploding, all sorts of good things. Warp gates. Oh, I love how they just absolutely explain everything. Humanity in the Imperium. You know, the Emperor. And I don't quite know, is that supposed to be the Emperor and Custodes? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's so many things in this book. So, so many things. We'll start to move on. But every page that I turn to has something else. It's the, are these are Space Marine chapter symbols there. I think they're rudimentary Space Marine chapter symbols. <laughs> everything's in here that's I think that's the surprising thing everything's in here every absolutely everything is in here <laughs> it's just totally awesome really oh look at this look at our inquisitors now that's an inquisitor 
that's what an inquisitor should look like look at the state of this guy he is an inquisitor for sure oh my goodness that is amazing and then we've got some mechanicus guys something it's it's talking about mechanicus adeptus mechanicus there let's see adeptus mechanicus it's very awesome. Oh, there's the Astra Telepathica. And some more cool looking uh, space marines for sure. Psychic Beatakins, it's talking about that. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome stuff that we can see. And it's a big book. That's that's what you got to remember. Oh, there's the navigators that it talks about. There's our navigators. And um, I think we've got a space marine blowing an orc's brains out. <laughs> what chapter symbol is that? And they shall know no fear. I mean... What's really a shocker though, when you go through Rogue Trader, is actually how much this is all the same stuff. Um, just reiterated book after book after book. You know, there's the um, Chain of Command. Emperor, Chapter Leader, Imperial Commander, Medical Communications, fourth weight of each 10 companies astropath physical technical with each 10 squads sergeant nine marines i like how it says emperor is he a character that he can field in battle can we field the emperor himself in battle well there's our chapters very cool looking very cool looking indeed i'm just loving this oh here we go here's our chapters there we go, here's the uh, the 10 chapters apparently, which is Blood Angels, Blood Drinkers, Crimson Fists, Dark Angels, Flash Eaters, Flash Terrors, Iron Hands, Rainbow Warriors, Sk Silver Skulls, Space Wolves, Ultramarines and White Scars. And Weapon Generation. To randomly generate a marine squad of 10 men, first roll to determine how many special weapons it can contain. Roll of E6. I like how there was so much randomization in the game. You never really knew what you were going to get. But a lot of the lore is already here. That's what's interesting about this book. You find a lot of lore in there. Look at that. The fortress monasteries of the space wolves. So we've actually got the space wolf in there. Very wolfy. Very, very wolfy indeed. I quite like that and some of these uh, places in it are oh, awesome Barbican <laughs> that's so funny so funny oh we've got a little bit of uh, colour stuff here which is nice I like how there's a little bit of colour just dotted in just little bits here and there Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> Is that our Imperial Guard? Is that the Imperial Guard? Look at the state of the Imperial Guard. I don't know what the guy on the left's doing. Oh my goodness. Look at his face. Very, very interesting indeed. Oh my, my, this is, um, we're really going deep now, aren't we? We're really going deep. And uh, more colour stuff, which I quite like. I do like the colour stuff, if we can uh, get the right angle of light on it. I like the scenery as well, very much um, pots and things. Oh, look at that character. Look at that guy. Those miniatures were so cool, but so derpy. Derpy, derpy, derpy. 
but wholesome at the same time. My oh my oh my. Is that Adeptus like Mechanicus? He looks like a Skatari guy there. It looks like one of our Skatari guys. It really does. The Rogue Trader, it says here on the left. Again, lots of weapons generation and things like that. Oh, here we go. This is interesting. Look at that. Very, very nice. These are our original Space Marine dudes. Absolutely awesome original Space Marines. I think some of you will be reminiscing now. Some of the chapter badges and chapter markings. And planting studs in to take 10 years of service. I like how you just get studs in your head for service. And then we've got some more. Emperor, High Lords of Terror, Master of Assassins, Lord of Assassins. Oh, those must be our assassins. Those are our assassins, things like that. Our assassins look very different now. Ooh, look at this cool artwork. I think they're actually miniatures on the right there. Cartoons on the left, miniatures on the right. Absolutely awesome. This is so awesome. Look at that suit and those Imperial Guard guys. Ha! Absolutely amazing. I'm loving it already. Loving it already. And then we'll go through ab humans. There are our beloved squats. Those are our beloved squats that we all miss so dearly to us. So, so dearly. These squats. Can we not get back the squats? The squats we love. So nice. So nice to have some squats. Maybe they'll bring them back one day. We want GW to bring them back. Uh, more fighting characteristics. Warp gate stuff. Oh, look at our old school Eldar versus squats. I think we've got squats versus Eldar going on here. Look at that. That is very cool. Very, very cool. Indeed. Very cool. I'm absolutely loving this. Absolutely loving this. Better crippled in body than corrupted in mind. Crunch. <laughs> my oh my. This is a real buck and a half. This is a real buck and a half. You could just spend ages and ages going through this book. Look at the derpy old orcs. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. There's our orky guys. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And some more classic space marines. Absolutely. I mean, this was all the first stuff. That's what was so interesting about it all. This was all leading the way, setting it, you know, setting in stone, everything. Gretchen, look at our Gretchen. We all like a few Gretchen, don't we? Everyone loves a few Gretchen. Either collecting them or destroying them, one of the two. And that artwork is very cool. Look, I think that's our Adeptus Mechanicus friends. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. I mean, they must have just spent ages putting together the artwork to release this. Absolutely ages. Great made you the ancient and slan and their in inheritance. Whoa, there's some funky stuff. Real funky stuff now. I don't even know what that is. It looks like the old ones. 
that looks like the old ones there. I'm not joking. That's like the old ones. The ancient, yeah, so like the old ones. Jacaro, obviously. Obviously we've got our Jacaro. I wish that there was more about the uh, Jacaro. I really do wish there was more. Um, but maybe in the future. But the Jacaro is always like a great miniature to go with. Uh, with an Inquisitor. Oh, look at this. We've got like a copy of like that, uh, the American soldiers, but with Space Marines, which is quite funky. Yes, very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. And delving deeper into our book. We're getting closer to the end now. There's, oh, there's our Tyranids. We can see we're starting to get classic Tyranids now. Classic nids. Um, the horse stuff. Astral Hound. I want an Astral Hound model. That's what I want to see. Can we, there's our Zotes. We've brought Zotes back now. Warp creatures. That's, that's so funky. <laughs> Absolutely so funky. Just like vampires and slavers. Vampires. I, we actually had vampires in 40k? Really? And then insecty things. They were really um, trying just absolutely everything here. You know, warp entities again. I take it these are just our demons now. But. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. Bouncers. Look at those bouncers. Carn Carnivorous sand clam. <laughs> we need a sand clam model. GW, bring our sand clam models. Why can we not have these squiddy crawlers and sand clams? Catch and face eater. Oh, and it's like dragony stuff. That's just like lizardy dragony things there. Oh my. Dinosaurs. This is what we need. We got like how can gene stealers be next to dinosaurs? <laughs> Get a dinosaur. It doesn't even look like a dinosaur. Oh, that's the Clodereth, Clod Bear. Clodifluran Clod Bear. I can't say that word. I'm making a hash of that. But absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> this is so funny. We're getting into the real good things. Grox. Giant spiders. Horse. Can we just have a horse? Oh, look at the cat. We've got like a catty thing here. Horse. So we can just have our horse. Grox. Giant spiders. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just some of these creatures are just so funny. It is a blast from the past. I take it that's our horse there. Lash worms, mimics, like monkey things. Ripley fish. I mean, they didn't have even miniatures for these things, I don't think. <laughs> that's so funny. We've got the good stuff. Gas fungus, sunworms, Kedachan, brain leaf. There's lots of things on Kadachan that you don't want to really eat or come into contact with. Really. But they have stuff for alien plants, which is cool. Gas fungus and things like that. You could imagine like home brewing this stuff and making it yourself and then seeing what it does. Because I'm really loving it. 
Oh, and then the, here's our world, rain spores, Venus man trap, death world. What were the rules for death world? Starters, there are many different sorts, and no two death worlds are the same. But they have one thing in common, they are dangerous. A game featuring a death world can be very entertaining for all concerned from the GM's point of view. Oh yeah, because we'd have a game master point of view. They are easy to run as well as providing constant things to do, randomly determine the actions of the plants, animals and weather. Several types of death world are described below. Together with generation details for flora, fauna, generative terraforming, mixed death worlds, sentient death worlds, death world flora, death world fauna. Oh my. Group, group consciousness, rapidly conscious. Suddenly spawn generations think environmental changes, creature charts. Oh, so there's all our creatures, and they've put them into creature charts for us. Which is kind of funky. There's just too many, really, to sort of explain. But it's ones we've covered. It's the ones all that we've covered before. So I guess there's, like, fluff for them, and then, and then it flashes it out. We have yet more awesome artwork. Absolutely awesomeness. I'm loving this, absolutely loving this, but we need to start flicking through because we need to get to some sort of end now, surely. There's some amazing artwork on here though, absolutely amazing. I mean, I love how they just flash out these different worlds. You know, it really, it really sort of like um, makes the 40k universe come alive with so much diversity and and like speeders going through and look at these guys here and wow it is pretty awesome it's pretty awesome let's continue our journey the advanced gamer <laughs> there's more more artwork. I mean, this is like ultimate gaming now. Random targeting, fast dice throwing, personalities as targets, um, hidden movements, duck backs and shots, scenic insanity. Scenic insanity, how does that work? This is so cool. Oh, modelling ideas, plastic scenic boards, morpho rock, boiling mod, crystal forests, planetary landings, extended battles and campaigns. See, people are saying like, oh, campaigns are new and things like that. And we had it in Rogue Trader. A lot of this stuff's just regurgitated. Loss of vehicles and equipment in the campaign. A what For a warrior, the only crime is cowardice. It's very, uh, very nice. Oh, we've got um, a space marine getting shot in the chest. I'll tell you what, you don't really see space marines dying in a lot of the new books, do you, really? They seem to always be invincible. Whereas in this, they're not afraid to show a few of them being killed. Lots of advanced game stuff. Oh, and then there's our classic um, picture there. There's our classic picture that everyone knows and loves. Everyone loves that classic picture. It's just full of advanced game rules. Raid and capture stuff. Weird cultists traveling the galaxy in search of salvage. Oh my, oh my. Now we've got some stuff. Collecting and painting your forces. And look at these classic pictures. Look at these guys having a uh, a very interesting game of 40k. With look at those buildings. I wonder where they are now. Oh, someone's deep, deep, deep in the book there. Someone's trying to sort out the book. <laughs> and he's saying line of sight there. You better measure the line of sight. This is what we like. This is what we like. Indeed. Loving the old book. 
absolutely loving the old book. And undercoating preparation of metal models. Oh, so like there's a full hobby guide in it. We've got a full hobby guide. Full hobby guide. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Oh, that was just guides on painting. You don't get paints like that anymore. How to batiste cone. And they were doing like the classic system, you know, undercoats. They, does it say um, two thin coats though? Does it say two thin coats? That's what we need to know. Duncan, where are you? Why have you abandoned us? And then there's some cool stuff there. Shading chart. Oh wow, we've got a shading chart. I'll just show that. That actually shows us how to shade. There was just so much stuff. Metallics and difficult shades as well. They really went to town with this. And I love how they're showing you how to make scenery out of just anything you want. You don't have to buy expensive scenery, guys. Especially according to this. We've got some more classic miniatures once again. Once again, the finish, and then this is my favourite bit. This is obviously the Games Workshop team. This is obviously all the Games Workshop team. And um, look at everyone. Look at everyone there. It must be everyone from the Games Workshop team. They've done their own... Uh, little cartoon cartooniness of themselves oh my goodness ha you just don't get it do you the personalization of it all it's the personalization of it all that i really love that's what i love i wonder if, if people can name the names of the people there and then look at these, like get some pots, glue them together, make a project one control tower, project two plaster dome, project three residential block. This is what we need for the hobby guys. And then summary in book five. This is just a summary of everything. More funky artwork as per usual. And then we've got a summary author's note on language. The common language of the Imperium is represented in the book by English. Proper names have been rendered in an Anglicanized form. Titles of ancient institutions, organizations, pretended. Old tongue known as Imperium in, in the Imperium as tech has been a version of the language technical manuals. What about Gothic? Does it talk about Gothic? Old worlds, transmission systems, my oh my. It's so cool. Look at these guys here. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And then these are our uh, the timeline of Rogue Trader Universe. Age, oh, there's the Age of Strife, look. We've got it the Imperium, the present, Imperium, and then 10 millennia before present, 50 millennia before present, 20 millennia before present, 50 millennia before present. So we have the Imperium, Age of Strife, and then the Dark Age of Technology. And then we go on to the tear-out sheets, which are very cool, the play sheets. And these are perforated, but you have to be careful getting the book that they're actually going to be right um, because unfortunately there's a couple of pages missing here there's the space marines and the orcs marines brief i mean it's just a shame this book's missing a few pages it's such a shame uh, buildings and things orc players brief and then unfortunately, like I say, there's a couple of pages torn out. Such a shame. Space Orc Raiders. Look at them. The miniatures. And look at those prices. Imperial Space Marines, £9.95. Space Orc Raiders, £9.95. 
you're not going to get that. Warning, product contains lead, which may be harmful if chewed or swallowed. Miniatures not recommended for children under the age of 12. So yeah, we had lead, lead miniatures to begin with. And then Fantasy Battle Rules, it's like a, a big advert for Warhammer Fantasy. Warhammer 40,000 is the third member of the Warhammer family joining the best-selling Warhammer Fantasy Battle and Warhammer Fantasy Battle Roleplay rules. Both games share a highly detailed fantasy world. The Warhammer Fantasy range is constantly being updated. Watch the news page of White Dwarf magazine for the latest news. But I love the Warhammer Fantasy as well. That, like, roleplay, that died a death. And then obviously we've got a classic... Classic artwork to end with, and then the back printed in the UK game, Copyright Games Workshop 1987. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of stuff that um, I thought was the only in the new books, but getting this classic, I actually uh, realized I, this was. Before my time, I wasn't even born when this book was made. This book is older than me. But an interesting thing I want to leave you on is that symbol there. Look at that. That is very, very similar in a way to our new Warhammer logo. If you don't mind me saying, it's very similar. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to... Uh, smash the like button leave me a comment of what you thought of your uh, classic part which bit did you like where you were around when this book was in existence and playing it and uh, yes um please subscribe to the channel for more warhammer 40k thank you ever so much for watching okay guys well thanks for uh, taking a look with the journey so far of this book it was super cool looking into all the pages and seeing all the different things that were in there absolutely super cool and um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and taking a delve into warhammer history warhammer 40k history and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed yourself and uh, stay around for more warhammer Warhammer Age of Sigmar and Warhammer 40k interesting things that uh, you might not have seen before or maybe you have mm. so yeah it'd be awesome if you please subscribe thank you so so much for watching and also check out these other videos here and here I'd be ever so happy if you did thank you so so much check out the videos and subscribe Da, da, da. Thank you. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Is that guys? Those space marines there.